Hey there, we're going to do a Photoshop lesson all about two artists called Aziz and Kutcher who did a series of photographs in the 90s called Dystopia. They edited out the eyes, nose and mouth to make these really quite sinister, creepy looking portraits. And you can see some examples of them here. I'll show you how to do this. You use the healing brush tool in Photoshop. Um, you can read about them online and do your research for them. So here's how you do your response. So in Photoshop, I've got a portrait of myself. You can use a photograph of any face for this thing. I'm going to zoom in slightly so we can see the features a little bit better. Now the healing brush tool is located down here underneath the eyedropper. And you use it by clicking Alt. You see here it says Alt click to define a source point to use as a repair the images. So on the keyboard next to the space bar is a button called Alt. You click it. When you click it, you'll see that the cursor changes to almost a target selector. I'm going to select part of my forehead by pressing the button on the mouse. And I'm going to let go, move the cursor down, and you will see very small crosshairs on the top of my forehead. And as I move the mouse, it will copy the skin from there. And you can see I'm removing my eyebrow now. And I can then move down and I'll slowly but surely start to remove my eye. Now you can press Alt many times to select different areas so you have a different part of the skin replacing it. So where that shadow is, I'll press Alt again, I'll take another area, move some of that over, press Alt again, take another area and you can see that I slowly remove the features and makes it look very Scary. So again, press Alt, select an area, move the mouse, start to blur in where my features were. Press Alt again, select a different area, blur in some more. And now you can see my eyes are almost completely removed. I'm going to blur another bit in here. Now, if you see, if I go too far, I can get, I start to pick up bits I don't want. So press Alt again, take another area. Press Alt again, take another part, and you can see that it slowly but surely removes the eyes. Now we can carry on with this. I could remove my mouth as well, so I can like blur in where my mouth was. Now if you've ever seen the film The Matrix, there is a scene in that where the character Neo's mouth gets um, morphed together, so he can't speak. It's quite a scary, futuristic, scary activity, and I'll do a few more. Here you can even blend in the edge of your nose, so it looks like the whole face has been morphed. Now you can see that it's recognisable as a face, but obviously it has been morphed. Okay, thank you for watching, and have fun making your own versions of Aziz and Kutcher's dystopia portraits.